<laughs> this is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and we are here to talk to you about grooming departments. This stuff is popular. It is highly sought after, and for good reason. Um, if you are interested in kind of seeing what some of the latest and greatest ingredients are in soap bases, you, you really um, will be hard pressed to find someone who is using more varied and uh, surprising ingredients uh, out there. And, and I'm just gonna tell you a few of the things that I'm looking at in this label, but I'll also say the labels vary a lot because he has several bases and that's part of the brand's energy and, and, and um, uniqueness is that there are lots of different bases going on so you can't just talk about grooming department as one single soap type. With that said, this particular soap that has a donkey looking fellow on the front cover here is made with donkey milk. Um, but it's also got other ingredients that are rather unique, like um, Sacha Inchi extract, mm. which, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is meant to help reduce irritation post-shave. Um, it's got, of, of course, the sea buckthorn um, extract. Mm. Uh, what, what of you course. Of? Yeah, when you, when you and I, as we do a lot, talk about sea buckthorn, what do you, I mean, what, what comes to mind? I mean, it's obviously the buckthorn animal in yeah. the sea, in the Mediterranean. It's definitely, the, yeah. The, right, uh, the, the buckthorn sea. Um, I think that they have narwhals there in that sea. Absolutely. It's, it's far north or, or mid equatorial. I don't know. It's the same place as the Loch Ness Monster. It's definitely, you can only find these ingredients at grooming department, is the point. And uh, the, the variety, the fact, uh, Aviv and I were talking about this before, the fact that um, he's constantly coming out with uh, new iterations, uh, and and um, it's rare to find a soap maker who is like churning through formula so much as like a focus as opposed to like uh, you know a complete like switch over. Right. Exactly. So most most uh, soap makers are you know they stick to one formula or they have different formulas that they yeah. move to, yeah. and saying this is my formula. I believe in this formula. Right. And here the iteration is in scent and formula, which yep. is like very aggressive. Yeah. I think the idea is that you and I will have just lots of videos to, to do over and over about grooming department. Absolutely. We're excited to be carrying his stuff. Uh, we don't have the full line yet, but we are working on getting the full line and good stock in, in all but it the does, products. It doesn't even, you know, there's no full line because it's... Right. Literally every month, it's it's it seems, uh, and again, in grooming department, like that's that's not an accident. Like, there's just I don't think there's ever gonna be a full line. Uh, you guys gotta check out what he's got. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna demo some some of the stuff tonight, and we're using different formulas. Right. I have the scent, incense, and rose, and the formula. I really like that it's on the back. Yeah. Uh, the formula is. Beef tallow and goat, goat milk is the base, but it has, I don't know, another 25 ingredients. Castor oil. <laughs> I'm looking for the weird ones. Uh, I don't know. Some of these I don't even know how to pronounce. Does yours have clay? It does have clay. Yeah. I, I like um, I like clay. I feel like, it could be in my head, but I feel like whenever I shave with a with a soap that has clay in it, like it, it does provide extra like soothing. I feel like, uh, especially if you have naturally like medium or more oily skin, it like dries all that up right away. I don't know. Mm. It's nice. I am going to be lathering on my face for the second time, and and Jared is going to be uh, using his hand to create the lather there. Uh, I have a Chub Simpson Chubby Two Super Badger. That I've been soaking here for a minute. I want to get even more water out of that. Mm. Yeah, I get that's good. Yeah, yeah. Now you're talking. Um, I am using a brush that has come face to face with this particular soap puck now several times in a row. Um, I wanted to make sure that uh, this puck knew who's boss. And I have succeeded, and now we're ready. It's a Yaki synthetic. I think 30 millimeter. One thing I noticed about this earlier when we did this uh, is that the coloration of the soap is interesting. Yeah. A little, actually, I would say a little displeasing for me, 
Uh, I'm not so keen on this uh, like brownish color, but uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter really. It turns white eventually when you create the light. Right. There, there are some soaps like that on the market that are um, kind of surprising in that way. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's definitely, if you're not expecting it and you don't know it's going to turn white when you lather it, it might, it might throw you off. Mm. Yeah, and this, the brush is like leaking. So that's just because you got water in there, because mm -hmm. it's a, it's a chubby. That thing is dense. In a previous video that we did, after I lathered on my hands, I got a little bit of soap on my nose, and I didn't realize in the rest of the video I had a uh, soap dollop on my nose. I think I'll probably get some soap on my nose this time also. Yeah, it's a, I think, a sign of good luck. Yeah, we're ready to, ready to rock with this. Um, so this soap is um, veggie. Uh, it's a non tallow formula, but it has uh, donkey milk in it, uh, and so it's it's definitely different from the one Aviv is using. And you know, look, um, th th to me, they perform differently. Like they lather differently in terms of how thirsty they are, um, how much uh, soap uh, to load in the brush to get kind of the desired level um, and you know that's again part of the fun of the grooming department is figuring out you know which bases you like and um, which iterations you want to kind of keep following. Hmm. I don't know, I have no idea what I look like. Look awesome, wow. Tom Cruise? Thanks. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. It is a little bit, uh, you can feel maybe what you were mentioning before, a little bit like the drying. The clay? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna keep lathering on my hand, just because I have no idea what, what's going <laughs> no, on. No, I mean, it's for, it's, it, you're doing fine on your face. Mm. I'll keep going, fine. Yeah, yeah, just keep going, man. So, the artisan behind this brand is Muhammad, and he is, when we reached out to him, he's a mm -hmm. super enthusiastic guy. Yep. And uh, I don't know his backstory as far as like what he does professionally. I think this is his side, side mm -hmm. I think, hustle. I think so. And uh, I know he's, he's uh, a West Coaster. And, um, you yeah, know, again, he's, he, has, he has kept himself busy because everyone wants to try these new bases. Um, you know, I, I mean, I know both of us, we've tried a lot of soaps and we haven't even tried all these bases yet. Like it's, it's new to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're, you're in the zone now getting there. Um, so, uh, I, I think he, <laughs> he is now, uh, has the blessing and curse of uh, a high demand. Mm. Blessing. In my opinion. Yeah. But. You know, you've never you've never experienced what it's like uh, having having everyone hound you and follow you and ask like for you know pictures of the paparazzi and stuff. I know what it's like, and it's <laughs> awful. Um, uh, the, you're right. Yeah. The 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 ladders are very different. Right, totally yeah. different. Um, I'm 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 really happy actually with this formula. Um, this was new to me. Uh, just when we were like sh shooting this video and just getting a feel for it uh, first time I ever lathered with this particular base of his um, and Personally of all the bases of his that I've tried. This is my favorite so far um, But I haven't tried all the bases so uh, who knows? Yeah, who knows uh, and I'm the the scent here. I like it much more When I lathered it than I did when I first smelled it. So that's good. What, what do you think changes? Like, what do you notice more when you lathered it? Maybe it just became a little less intense, you know? Maybe that's what the, it is. The rose little... seems to, like, uh, blend, like, smoothly. It's not a, it's not a sharp floral, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't like rose. Yeah. Do people have irritation with rose? No, I, I think it's just, like, a sharp scent. And, and you know, like, at least a number of people uh, have also said that, like, they don't want to be smelling like flowers, you know, during the day. And so, uh, rose is like distinctive and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't 
fade into the background. Mm. I do feel like with the the rose and incense though, or incense and rose, like it 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 does it does blend pretty well. It's a good smell. I'm happy with it at least. Yeah. So that's grooming department. Mm -hmm. Now available at West Coast Shaving. Currently sold out, but temporarily temporarily sold out. We're going to be we're excited to be carrying this artisan. Do you think you should start paying your bill? Do you think if you start paying your invoice, then mm. like if it? I pay him, maybe he'll give me more. It's just an, it's a thought. Oh, okay. It's a thought. I didn't realize that's how it worked. It's, I mean, it's understood. It's not a. It's not like not no explicit. Says, yeah, it's not understood. Right. Generally understood. I understand now. <laughs> understood. <laughs> uh, we're excited about grooming the apartment. We're exciting about excited about all the new formulas he might be carrying in the future, or definitely probably will. Yeah, look out for that narwhal. The narwhal <laughs> formula. From the Buckthorn Sea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll do it again soon. Bye. Bye.